All right, guys, I want to do a video <clears throat> on overstocking. We're getting a little bit too many fish for your tank. We've all done it. Um, I'm, I'm kind of bad about it myself because I like having lots of action in my tanks. And, well, you know, with goldfish, they need a lot of room. They need a lot of space. Um, so from the original tank I had, I have upgraded to this tank. But as you can see... I've gotten a little bit too heavy with the amount of fish for the size of the tank. This is a 36 gallon bow front tank. So there's there's a few options you have when you get when you find yourself overstocked, obviously, is to um, get a bigger tank, uh, which is one thing I do plan to do probably this summer. And most likely I'll look for it on Craigslist or wait for uh, probably Petco to have one of the gallon per dollar sales maybe go up to a 55 from there um, the other thing too obviously it, depending on the type of fish like this koi here this koi we actually just added um, that's one that my daughter wanted to add and let it grow for a little while and then we're gonna release it in a uh, pond here by our complex that has a lot of other koi in it but meanwhile while you're overstocked um, obviously you, you need to take a little bit more care in your filtration and water quality so just to show you what I have set up here I've got two two big arandas two uh, Ryukins I also have a red cap aranda I got the new little lion head with the black lips um, I've got a shabunkin and a little gold koi and there's two quarry cats in here so that's quite a quite a bit of fish when you're considering the fact that uh, these are goldfish, and especially these bigger ones, need a lot of room to grow. But water quality is one of the biggest issues. So I am doing regular, probably once, at least once a week to two weeks, a 10 to 20% water change, which doesn't sound like much. But originally this tank had just this one... Um, Marine Land 200 power filter, which is 200 gallons per hour, with the bio wheel, which kept it pretty good, pretty clean. Um, and then uh, a few weeks ago, uh, I redid the tank, and we had a really bad problem with an algae bloom. And I'd also gone from a having no gravel in the bottom to gravel, then to adding sand. But in the meantime, we also added this whisper or this excuse me marine land 350 right here so right now power filter wise I have three bio wheels and 550 gallons per hour and filtration going through this tank and also once we had once we had the um, had that real bad algae bloom, pl bloom problem, um, which has just been a few days ago. Where I think we're maybe on day five or six. I'll have to look back. But if you look back, you can look back on the channel and see the other videos. Um, we added the green killing machine UV sterilizer, and uh, this is, was the 24 watt um, model, and. I didn't do enough research to realize that there was also a 9 watt model which would have probably been more than enough for this tank but it has made this water crystal crystal clear the majority of it has to do with this the UV sterilizer it may not look like it's crystal clear so much because uh, I see there is some glare here and we are getting quite a bit of air bubbles from uh, I don't even have an air stone. That's just from the agitation. Oh wow! Just drop the camera. Let's see. Make sure we're. I'm assuming this is still right side up. Okay, but that's just just from the uh, agitation of the power filters that keeps the the water oxygenated so well. So I don't even really need an air stone or an air pump. But as you can see, the water quality is really good, really clear. Tests all good. Um, the fish are happy. 
you just they're always up front wanting to see me i don't know if you've for those of you who had goldfish and several in a tank you know they know when you walk in the room because they all come to the front because they are hungry and that's the newest little lion head there i wish you could be still long enough to get those black lips to show but anyway just want to give you a few ideas if you are, do find yourself overstocked, obviously try not to get overstocked in the first place, but water quality, a little more frequent water changes, make sure we don't overfeed. I think a lot of times it's kind of easy to overfeed when you have uh, an overstocking problem because, especially when you have different sizes of fish, because you're trying to make sure the little guy gets the fish before all the big guy, or the little guy gets some food before the big guys suck it all up. Um, so just make sure you don't overfeed them and feeding them. I, I feed mine three times a day in general, as much as they can eat in about two minutes. Um, and then, uh, keeping your filters, your filter cartridges change regularly. I actually change mine once a month, but mid month I change a little bag of, um, ammonia zorb and carbon in the back of one of the filters just to keep the quality a little bit better so hopefully next year within the next year we'll just get another great big tank and because i'd still like to get a few more i really want to get a couple ryukins and and add to the family thanks for watching